Hello. I will demonstrate a new functionality introduced in Magic at Forever 2020 version. The group of so-called productivity tools with features such as vertical and horizontal crossing have been expanded with the new functionality Smart Move. It is related to the crossing tool in a way that allows the user to modify crossings if the network has undergone changes, for instance because of redimensioning thus causing collisions. The new tool contributes to a better handling of coordination issues while keeping duct and pipe segments, cable trays, conduits, devices and components connected. Let me demonstrate how it works. As an example here, we have a situation where the red and blue pipes are colliding with a rectangular duct that has been resized. Smart Move allows the user to choose a horizontal pipe segment and a new reference point from the upper surface of the duct in order to edit the crossing. We can also reroute the pipe if instead of choosing on top of and go over the duct, we want to go under it with the option at bottom of. But let's keep the first option and go over the duct. Choose the reference point and the feature suggests the shortest route over the rectangular duct. If you wish to elevate the object even more, you can type in a value in the tolerance field. Clicking on the blue arrow icon updates the model. You can extend the dialog to see the view in a 3D mode. With OK, you accept the move, and as the command stays active, you can assign the smart move to other objects continuously. We can take alignment points from existing objects when changing the elevation. Here we have a sprinkler pipe next to the red one, and dashed lines indicating its highest and lowest offset points. We want to align the two pipes regarding the two points, first with the top-to-top -to -top method. Choosing the sprinkler pipe aligns the two pipes to the same top elevation. Bottom-to-bottom -bottom does the same using bottom elevation points, making sure that the object's lower edges are in the same elevation. Let's take a further look at the options we have in the Smart Move dialog. This time we have a circular duct with 45 degree bends colliding with the rectangular one. Elevating the horizontal round duct segment makes it shorter since we don't want to lose the connection to the angled segment. With the option Keep Offset Segment Same Length, we push the angled segment back a little to maintain the old length for the horizontal segment. Look how checking and unchecking the option box makes the duct longer and shorter. Since there is an air terminal in the model, we might want to keep the diffuser elevation as it was even when changing the terminal elevation. Checking the box Adjust Terminal Color allows the color length to be adjusted. See the difference when the box is unchecked. If we try to change the elevation, for example, lower than where the diffuser is, a red warning is generated in the information text field. Note also what the green text says about adjusting the terminal color. It affects the offset because the color minimum and maximum lengths are restricted. Remember that you don't have to take alignment points, but you can also type in a free value in the tolerance field. This happens by ignoring the alignment dialog with the escape button. Type in a new elevation. 